Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to episode 3 of Stardew Valley 1.6. A relaxed long play joining Marcus on Aspen Farm. I'm just checking my OBS because I think I figured out how to actually make it a real full screen. Let's say good morning to cute little Rue. And let's check the weather for tomorrow because it's raining today, which is awesome. Tomorrow, we have a sunny day. That's fine. Um, what is our fortune looking like? Really bad today. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can work with that. Oh, and I forgot to actually buy seeds yesterday. <laughs> no! Silly me. That's okay. It's my own fault. Um, okay, well, at least only three spots decayed, hey? That's workable. Oh, yay. And we got... Okay, perfect. So we are going to... And it's salmon berry season! Okay, we're going to fish and we're going to do some berries. Holy, there's actually a lot of salmon berry bushes on this farm. Man... Too bad we don't... Whoa, this is like... Is that is that happening on OBS as well? Oh, something interesting is happening with OBS. It's not actually showing things. Let me fix that. One second. There we go. I apologize. Um, let me just see if I can... Because right now I'm in like full screen mode, but it's cutting off the bottom. Hmm. Where are you? Windowless border. We want windowed. There we go. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's kind of like the dimensions don't fit on OBS. Oh, I have like a dupe going on. What the heck? Is that this one that I don't want? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, okay, so all of that I did was, I don't know if you were seeing that or not, but there was a few, you can see them right here. It's like here and here, and then there's another two or one right here that I had to um, reho, and then I grabbed some salmon berries from up here. That's all I did, and then I checked the, um, the TV. All right, hello dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When the summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out, so plan ahead. From Evelyn. Okay, and we are going to ship one of these. We are going to, I think I already shipped a potato. Yeah, I had a gold star potato that I shipped. We're going to hang on to the carrots now. Welcome to Aspen Farm. Love that sign. We are going to, let's put them in here, because we need one for community center. We're going to hang on to carrots for a little bit. Um... And we're going to actually start to use these. Do I have sap? I have one sap, so we might have to cut down some trees and such. That's okay. Um, okay, so this changes my plan a little bit, because now we're going to be shaking some bushes. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. I think that's very important, because that will set us up really nicely for the rest of spring. And into summer, really. Ooh, spooky. Are we going to see another really scary creature coming out of a bush somewhere? That was... Oh, I'm so like, traumatized by that. And I'm so sad that we're only getting one because we're one level away, but that's okay. One is better than none, right? Hello? Can I not shake it from behind? This, there's a lot of... Did they change the chance for salmon berries? Like, I know I just booted up the game... Right, because last episode we would have loaded in this this day, and then we not like canceled the day out, but like we did that strat unintentionally. Um, if you don't know, I'm just gonna explain this for maybe some people who don't know that on a salmonberry day or a blackberry day, if you restart the day, the bushes have like it's like some percent chance. I don't know what it is, like fifty percent chance or something of. Basically going through a double check, kind of like the burglar's ring to like spawn berries on that bush. So if you restart the day, you are basically 100% guaranteed to get more berries than you would just on the first original day. Oh my gosh, it's like every bush almost has a berry. That's awesome. Okay, so the goals for today aside from foraging is we are going to catch a catfish. We're going to catch an eel, but eels can't be caught until 4 p.m. And just those two, because uh, they're they're rainy day fish. So I want to make sure that we take some time to do that. Holy, we are swimming in salmon berries. This is awesome. This is this is really great. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. I am recording this quite early in the day too, because my sleep schedule is all weird, and I don't actually sleep in anymore. I don't know. Um, so that's why I might sound a little. Oh, I also haven't taken allergy pills. Uh oh. Okay, when the first sneeze comes, then I'll make sure to uh, pop the allergy pills. <laughs> oh, goodness. Also, I was doing a little bit of investigating, and I think I, like, 
mainly I, I kind of stumbled upon it because I was looking at the Nexus page, so it's my own fault where there's already some things on there that are related to 1.6 content, so I kind of spoiled myself a, a little bit that way, but at least I know what to look for now, so that, I'm going to leave it at that until we just come across what I'm talking about so that it will it'll feel a little bit more natural with me stumbling into it. But I kind of know what I'm looking for now for just one thing. Just one thing. And I don't even know when or how, if that helps. <laughs> so, yay, ambiguity. Uh, but it will make sense when it happens, I'm sure. And some of you probably have already discovered it. Um, so it won't even be new news to you. How can I? I can't. I'm kind of trapped in here because I don't have my scythe or sword or anything. Bughead, I guess. Yeah, this is ridiculous how many salmon berries there are. Holy. Yeah, we'll take a little fish break. Like, we'll kind of loop back around into town. Um, I guess there's still some bushes that aren't. We'll loop back into town. And then we'll try a fish for... We won't try. We will get a catfish in town. Um, hopefully I'm not just panicking and freaking out. Because I don't have infallible fishing. So I may, it might take a few tries, honestly. If I'm being honest with all of you. <laughs> also, I love how there's grass with the cows now. Because I think it was just a dirt field before. Still trying to notice the minor changes because it's almost like a little game now. I totally just ran by that bush too. We'll go get it. Maybe it's like every different, like depending on the number of fish types you catch, you get different bobbers. Or like if they're a certain size. Oh, yay. First one's a catfish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I panicked. I got nervous. I have performance anxiety. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. I just love the rain in this game. The rain animation is so beautiful. So the weather for me right now, um, context, especially if you're watching this in the future, it is March 20, no, yes, March 23rd, 2024, and another catfish. And it has currently snowed roughly nine inches over the past three days here. Oh no, no I feel really pressured to get this. Which is crazy for March 23rd, like even where I live, like that much snow is this late into the winter. I guess it's spring now. It's kind of weird, but we need the moisture, like we need the precipitation. So I don't think everyone's complaining that much. Hey, I got it. So I got the chest too. Excellent. First catch in a catfish. Achievement fit. Wow, there was a lot of things that happened there. And we got some bait. Cool. Okay, so that's done. So now we can go back to... Oh, I forgot that. That would actually have sunk into the water. Um, we can go back to picking some berry bushes. We haven't done over on the whatever side that is. The east. Actually, let's go down there. It's fine because we can pop into the beach. See what sort of forage is happening there. No, we're going to go down to the beach in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. I can't make up my mind. My goodness. But yeah, we're going to... This will be... Um, I would say the bulk of like the front half of this episode is getting salmon berries. Just because we have to. Like... It's really important that we get this. Um, oh, we already have one heart with a few people. Wow. And we have level 5 fishing. Yay. So we'll be able to choose a perk and then sell our fish tomorrow. That's awesome. Let's see what's going on here. A green bean for Sam. We'll accept it because I don't know when our green beans are going to be ready. Oh, it's the first day of Mystery Festival. Um, which, I mean, the fact that it's grayed out, I feel like that means that we don't have access to it. So, I don't know, there's, there's, there's a few places that we currently don't have access to that it could relate to. I can't get those because there's too much fiber. Um, so yeah, it could be, it could be a, a few different kind of themed festivals and I don't really know. Because again, I'm trying to avoid spoilers as much as possible, um, just for my own sake. So that I, I don't know. It's fun. It's fun just being shocked, really. Let's go drop off this catfish while we're here. Hello, Junimo. Um, what are you in? You're, in? you're in Riverfish, right? Yes. There we go. So we can get the shad at some point, I believe. When can we get shads? Is that also a star do shad? Is that a rainy fish? It is spring, summer, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. rain. Oh, in the river. So we should be able to get a shad okay let's loop back down there actually we can do that yeah we'll loop back down because it's almost 4 p.m so we'll get an eel and then we'll try and get a shad 
and then we'll be done with all the rainy fish for the community center for this season. There's more rainy fish for the community center, but not this season. Can I check these? Well, nope, none there. That's okay. Hello. There we go. I also want to take a quick peek in here. Yes, this is what I thought. Okay. This was, I kind of spoiled myself on this one, but I haven't seen any of this. Ah, hello there, Marcus. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. Hmm? It's a new program I've come up with to help promote the spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk. You included! It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help others in the town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. What? Oh, like for their like fellow just like like human that they're involved with, I think maybe. I don't know. For some reason that sentence like did not compute with me. I just want to help. Honestly, I think that's the nature of this game and the playthrough is just wanting to help. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any rate, keep checking the Help Wanted board in town. Um, that's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Cool, so it explains it right there. Good luck out there. And let's go and check this, if we can. Whoa! Oh, cool. Is it like a gacha? Like, do you get... You can get a sapling from this? Ooh, ooh, that's a satisfying noise. It's like a very vintage button noise. I love this. You get 12 carrot seeds. Cool. So, yeah, you can start to get tickets from Help Wanted. And ooh, I don't think this is spoilers, but if you're concerned about spoilers, then just like skip ten, five seconds. I'll try and say it really quick. Skip now. You can also get them from repeat event stuff. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Grab a quick sip of coffee while we wait for an eel. This day went by so fast. I was already 5 p.m. My goodness. Hi, Willie. Ah, sorry, I have my rod out. Am I standing in your spot? I am not. You're going to the pub, hey? No, I don't think you're an eel. I think eels are a little bit more feisty. Anchovy. Do we need that for... I can't remember what the ocean fish are. Sardine, tuna, red snapper, and tilapia. I know three of these are summer. But we can get one right now. I think. I might be losing my mind. But I know they're mainly like in summertime. Red snapper is a, a rain one. Which we can do that all in summer 13. Because that's like a guaranteed uh, thunderstorm day. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, flounder, new catch. I'm happy with the salmon berries. We have 50 today, that's crazy. Yeah, because we still have a lot of energy, so we're going to want to use up this energy at some point. Um, I don't know what you are, but you're chill. You like a halibut? Can we get halibut in the spring? Oh, just another flounder. Flounder is like pretty decent money, so I'm okay with that. Oh, there's some new Discord like avatar decorations for springtime, spring tunes. Sorry, me also just being distracted by other things and multitasking again. You were, are you alive? Whatever you are. A herring. Which is not something we need, right? I don't think so. Or is that one? I don't remember. Where is the eel? Where is the eel? 
I know they'll be getting eels like later seasons, but I mean it's nice getting the fishing EXP, the fishing levels now, because again we'll be able to sell. Whoa, I think this might be an eel. Eel or a... Can you get super cucumbers in the... No. I feel like this is an eel. Nailed it. First catch. I love that. It's so exciting. It's so celebratory. Okay, now let's go and try and get a shad. How much inventory space do I have? Enough. Ooh, we got an iridium quality. Is a herring... No, sardine. That's what I keep on confusing myself with. Oh, we can get all of those in the summertime. I'm not worried about the ocean fish bundle right now. Um, yeah, it sucks that we didn't get up to the mountain to get those bushes up there. Probably maybe still can, depending on how quickly we hook a shad. That's not a shad. Um, but then we still have a half a tank of energy to work with, so keep that in mind as well. So I guess while we're just sitting here staring at this river in the rain at 8.30... Oh, you're a catfish. Catfish are good money. If I don't hook it, I don't hook it. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to hook it yet. Um, so my question that I was going to say while we're here is... Do you enjoy fishing in Stardew Valley? It is, is it content that you enjoy or is it content that you maybe don't enjoy as much? I wonder if I should have checked Willy's because what if there's like shad bait? Wait, we can't even put bait on our rod. We don't have the fiberglass rod. There we go. Never mind. We got it. Okay. But yeah, I'm curious because I know that there are, um, there's, there are folks out there that really enjoy the fishing content. So if you're one of them, I'm just curious. Like, that's really awesome. And I want you to share your, your wisdom and your perspective on it so that I can potentially enjoy it more myself. <laughs> okay, let's do... Where is it? Uh, Nightfish is one. Where's our eel? It's cool. So Nightfish, this one we need to wait until... I think fall, but for sure winter I know, but maybe fall as well. And then we have um, lake fish, river fish. There we go. This one we need to wait until fall as well. Crab pot, we're going to hopefully get that. Oh, I didn't even check. Oops, that's okay. It's Monday. The forage won't disappear on us. Okay, let's go and do some shaking. I did not keep my eye out for worms either. I probably ran by a whole bunch. Oh well. We're gonna yeah, quickly shake here and then whatever remaining time we'll try and cut down a tree or two. Oh jeez, running by forage everywhere. No but oh there's one down here. Oh I'm so happy we got a small glow ring, this helps so much. There is so many salmon berries, holy. And I think, again, some of you might disagree with this decision, but I think I am going to close down the game in between each of these days just because I really want to make sure we can maximize how many, um, t -t -t whatever those things are called, berries we're getting. Just because then it's like, you know, energy becomes less of a concern, which means that we don't, we don't have to be like limited that way and then kind of have to twiddle our thumbs when we run out of energy at like 1 p.m. on a day. I'm coming down this way because I want to drop some of these fish into here just for for tomorrow when we'll get that level up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put all of these in here and we'll come back for them tomorrow. Just because I am I have fish in two different places right now and it's hard, that's already stressing me out. Okay, backwoods and then trees. And I probably again ran over some worms, but especially now that it's nighttime, I, it's, it's a good gamble if I'm going to notice them or not. Um, and if I miss some salmon berry bushes, I miss, so be it. I miss some salmon berry bushes. Why do I have the town song song? Oh my goodness, so many leaks today. Oh, there's a berry bush up there. That's okay. 
I think I might cut down this tree. I like it there. It looks nice, but um, I'm just going to put all of this in here for now. The algae can go in here. The bait can go in here. Oops, I missed. Daffodils and you and you. I want you and you. But yeah, I want to cut down this tree just because it's it'll start keep start spreading seeds and that will um, upset me. 12 EXP, 1 EXP, wooden sap, the sap is good. I still didn't plant any seeds, my goodness, I'm so bad. Okay, I need to remember to plant some seeds tomorrow. We need to go to Pierre's tomorrow. I really want to level up, it's 110. We're not even gonna use our full tank of energy, oh well. Did I even say hi to my chickens? I don't think so. I think I got so distracted by wanting to... Okay, 130. We might pass out because of this decision. But we did level up, so we won't be depleted on energy. Oh my gosh, it so shows the quality? That's so cool. Wow, it shows the quality. 90 energy for that. Alright, well, that's as much as we're going to get done there. Um, I'm gonna set myself up for tomorrow, which is this, because we're gonna have to re-hoe the ground. We're gonna, we'll ship the mayo tomorrow. Oh, Rue sleeping by the fire, that's so cute. Yay, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm stretching. Oh, that's a good morning stretch. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with this one, at least to begin with. Maybe down the road we can fiddle with resetting skills and seeing if there's any differences, but we're gonna... Say fish are worth 25% more, because I think that'll be a quite quite the bit of bit of benefit to us. 125 dollars, which is awesome. Already day 16 of spring. We're gonna have to invest in calendar so we don't have to run to town. It is a sunny day. Copper pickaxe is ready, which is excellent. Tomorrow the weather is sunny. And the luck today is bats, which is like second from the worst. Oh my gosh, my poor fields. Hi, me sell hats, okay? Poke or poke, some people say poke. Um, come to old, old, old house. Poke. Bring coins, coins, coins. <laughs> um, dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am ready to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford um, a few dozen boxes or so from Pierre? Cool, we will potentially do that. Good morning, Rue. Have some water, Rue. How's our friendship going with you? Half a heart, Rue. What a sweetheart. Oh, right. Actually, shoot. You know what I was going to do? I was going to exit the title. Right. Load the game. So again, I went over this last episode, but here's Hemlock Farm. So this is a Rapidox series, 176. Seamus looks hilarious because no fashion sense. This is my current challenge one that I was doing, 200 hours in there. This is Mistral, so Topher looks very different. And then this was another... Me kind of testing out some mods for um, a potential challenge series. So some of those, we I don't need to check the TV because we know what it's going to say. Um, I'm going to check this again because we know what these are going to say. But yeah, um, we'll check some of those out. Again, I might have to get a little bit creative with some, of, with some of the mods because I don't even know. Some of them might be obsolete. Some of them are still working on being updated. So yeah, we're just going to keep that in mind. Oh, jeez, I left the gate open. Let's go say hi to Beluga and Misty. Got this one hiding back there. Good morning, good morning. Very close to being able to get a silo as well. Let's grab these eggs. Two large eggs, which is excellent. And I think we have those in the shipping collection now. Yeah, we have all of the eggs, so we can just freely make... Um, the mayos, which is great, and we've shipped that. Wow, yeah, we're looking pretty good for a spring one, for spring year one. There's the carrot, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have a busy day. We have a busy day. Maybe I'll loop up north first, um, get those ones, and then by that time we can come down and do this. To, we're gonna have to. We can make some more fertilizer. I cut down some trees yesterday. Oops. Yeah, there's a little bit of decay here because I'm a goof. That's okay. 
Hilly sap comes pretty frequently. 740, this should work out okay. Yeah, if we get around like 200 salmon berries. Ooh, look at all of them down by the bus stop area. Um, if we get around 200, I'll be quite pleased. And I want to loop up here too so that we can just kind of see a bit better. We'll finish in cinder sap. I'm very excited that our pickaxe is ready because that means that we can start to get some iron. Oh, hello. There we go. Good morning, Linus. Have you come to ridicule me? No, I haven't. I'm just minding my own business. Do you want a salmon berry? This is a great gift. Thank you. No problem, my friend. Or I guess my acquaintance right now, currently. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one. Oh, this one had some berries on it yesterday as well. That's awesome. And while we're here, I'm actually going to grab these fish. Oh, and this berry. Nice. Hello. So we can grab... We'll just grab... Oh, we can take a largemouth bass to the community center. We need to hang on to a chub as well because we don't have the bulletin board unlocked. So we need to make sure that we're... Even though I know we can just fish one off whenever, but I'm always bad about remembering that. And I'm not going to worry about cooking recipe fish yet. Is there... I mean, okay, there's one. I'm so used to expanded with it going... I wonder how the expanded map is going to change with that waterfall there. Okay, it looks pretty good. Sweet, let's go loop down and do some town things. Hey, Linus. Um, I didn't see any worms, so we're doing okay. There's Robin going to Jazz's highest. Let's say good morning to her. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. Um, this bush had some yesterday as well. That's interesting. Bonk. And monk. And let's go and drop off these fish while we have them. We have lake fish. We have, is there, we have a regular largemouth bass. We have a regular carp and we have a regular bullhead. I think that's everything. Cause then yeah, the chub is going to be in the, um, whatever that thing is called. Um, bulletin board. There we go. Had to see it to jog my memory. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll hang on to one largemouth bass for Jody. Probably just a regular quality one. We're gonna swing in here. And, oh, we're gonna get a, okay, Jojo cutscene, awesome. Welcome to Pierre's, how can I help you? Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Honestly, I think I would take it too at this point. 50% off groceries. My goodness. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your local customers like that. But can you blame them? Jojo Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Goodbye, Morris. Okay, let's talk to Pierre first. Good morning. <sighs> And that's all he has to say. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that's the correct emotional response. I would say, feeling pretty good about the egg hunt, huh? Well, next year you won't be so lucky. <laughs> Spicy Abby. Um, Penny's a sweet girl. She's been Vincent's teacher for Vincent's teacher for a while now, and she really, he really loves her. My goodness, I just fumbled through that. I apologize. Um, I think I said we were gonna do some kale because we have the fun. Ah, we can only buy ten. 
We have not a lot of money. Hmm. Where's my... I need to do math. Calculator. Calc. 7... What, how much do we 745. 745 divided by 20 is 37. 32. So we don't even have enough money. Okay, we're gonna... We can buy... We'll just buy all of them. We have some forage that we can come back and sell. Um, let's say good morning to Emily. Hello, Emily. Um, I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Thanks. Let's see. What was I going to do? I My goodbye brain. Right. I was going to... Um, go put these fish into... The chest and then I was going to grab the forge to bring back to Pierre's to try and buy some more seeds we'll do a loop up here just so we don't have to add this to our loop on the way back yeah because I was thinking that there's gonna be one here and if there's kind of some like tucked up in here not really oh my gosh spring spring day one music <clears throat> sorry I had a bit of gunk in my throat my goodness eee. stuck on stuck on the fiber Oh shoot, we need to go and get my... That, I think I did that yesterday too, didn't I? I need to go get my pickaxe, hey? It's 12.30, okay, so we'll do that. We'll go to Pierre's and we need to go to Clint's before he closes, because he always closes on me. And then we will... Then we'll finish doing all of this. Oh my gosh, these rocks are spreading. Oh my gosh, this grass is spreading. Everything's spreading. Ah, it's so out of control. Okay, I'm not going to plant the... Um, do I have room to grab these fish? I do. Put these in here. I, I feel like we could sell them to Willy and get the same price, but it's fine. Um, hang on to... I didn't hang on to a chub. There we go. I'm going to put these in the tool chest now because this is kind of like the to deal with chest. And we are going to grab Horge Horge. Forge, 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 and we'll see. Ooh, maybe we'll grab this carrot too. And we'll wait. We'll save the potato for when the rest of the spring crops are ready. Okay, sell. See how many more, because we have. Seven plots times eight. Seven times eight is 56. Plus maybe a few more on the one with the cauliflower and beans. 56. Actually, no, we might have some carrot seeds that we can plant. So if we can get approximately 56 seeds, we'll be in a good spot, which we're at 37 right now. Oh, I think so, yeah. 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. There we go, okay. And yeah, I would have liked to have done Kale, but Kale's expensive for our current wallet situation. Did I shake that one? I did. Okay, let's go get our pickaxe, and then we'll finish getting some salmon berries. Hello, Vincent. How's school? <sighs> Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. <laughs> Good morning, Jazz. Or afternoon, I guess. What? <laughs> Hi. Okay, and Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. I agree. Hello, Clint. You have a gift for me? Yay! Thanks, Clint. You received the copper pickaxe. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to pull this up before I forget about them and then I don't plant them. Okay, so now I think we're going to go plant and water before we do anything, and then we'll finish off by getting berries. we got to prioritize things before I really get distracted do, 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 do. Do, do. Hmm. so that's 300 dollars that's pretty good the forage is like i keep on forgetting we're playing at 100 percent profit margin so like forage actually is oh right let's go get the the um these ones up here too before i forget again yeah, that's quite like, you know, forge styles for quite a substantial amount of money. I'm used to it being like quite inconsequential. 
Yeah, there's like five bushes up here worth of forage. Uh, I wish we had level five foraging. That's okay. I haven't even looked in here. Looks more or less the same. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. We'll figure it out if it isn't. Just grabbing a drink of my coffee. It's like less than lukewarm at this point because I'm so bad at remembering I have a beverage. And of course, me being me, and I know some of you can relate, I have about four different glasses on my desk right now of varying liquids. <laughs> Um, let's make some fertilizer so we can fertilize these spots first. Oh, that should be okay. That's like, how many is that? That's nine fertilizers. We'll fertilize what we can. To replace my oops. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Close. One, two, three, four. Four spots that aren't fertilized. That's okay. Something. <gasps> ah, shoot. I didn't want to do up there. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay. We're just doing the whole thing now. We're, we're a mess. Wait, I have some... Let's grab you and you. This might be able to help. Oh my goodness. This is a... All right, and then two carrots right there, sure. <laughs> Gosh. Hi, Rue. I'm sorry, was that fiber in your way? How could it? So cruel. That's what I always say to my cat, because when um, I come home from you know, school or work, whatever I'm up to for the day, He's always sitting there waiting so patiently for me, and you can tell he's like, Hello, how could you abandon me? <laughs> so I always respond with saying how cruel I am to him for leaving him alone. Even though I know he just sleeps most of the day, but... <laughs> cats be cats. I don't know why I close that when the, the chickens are already in bed, but that's okay. Close it now, though. Pop in the seeds, oops, pop in the seeds, finish the watering, and then go and forage. And then whatever remaining energy will chop down some trees. If I was smart, no, I don't have money. I was saying if I was smart, I would have brought five copper bars with us, but we don't even really have the money for that, so it doesn't matter. We're going to be making some decent money today, though, with those fish. There we go. And I'm actually gonna, there's no reason I need to be lugging this around, so oops, oops. Pop that in there. I'm gonna fill my watering can in cinder sap because there's tons of spaces down there to fill it up, so I'm not worried about that. But let's go and grab some berries before it gets too dark to see them. Oh my goodness, this grass is getting nuts. Oh shoot, I should have brought the pickaxe to help clean up that. That's okay. Oh, okay, that was just a normal little bunny. I'm still terrified by that thing. Like, what was it? Like, have any of you seen that in your own playthroughs? That was so scary. That was so scary. It was, like, big and, like, purple. I don't know. It's, like, kind of not... Like, I can't remember it clearly in my mind anymore. So, it was just so large. So many berries. Yeah, we would have had already over 200 already if we got to level 4 foraging, but that's okay. Hello? I'm getting stuck on fiber. Mm, yeah, we can snake through here. There we go. Snake through here. Hello? There we go. When is the flower dance again? I'm so used to having UI info suite where I can just like click it on here, but we don't have that. Um, well, I mean, the TV will tell us regardless. It seems like it's pretty good and we might even get, oh, let's check out the Hatmos, even though I know that they won't have, maybe. Straw hat, yeah, a watermelon band and the Southwester, yeah, because we haven't really unlocked any achievements yet. Um, that's not really spoilers unless this is your first Stardew video you've ever watched. So I apologize, but yeah, you unlock hats when you actually get achievements. 
Mainly, not always. Sometimes there are story-based ones too. Oops, is that a berry bush there? It is hiding. But I know a lot of them are attached to um, achievements. Nice. Got some. Do spring onions give forging XP when you harvest them? Like, is that like seven each? I don't actually know. Actually, looking pretty okay. We're looking pretty okay. Combat's a little bit low, but that's because we haven't been in the mines for a few days, so... But I'd say we're progressing, like, pretty substantially with our skills. For not really, like, actively trying to level them. Like, some of them, yes, like, we, we were aiming for fishing level 5. Um, but that's really the only one that we were trying to focus on. The rest of them have just happened by us just doing what we're doing. There. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's kind of mostly what we're going to get unless there's a few tucked over on the left side here. But that leaves a little bit of time to chop down some trees as well, which is nice. Yeah, there might be some here, but now I'm like squinting at my game, so I don't even know. All right, let's go and put these spring onions away and let's chop down a couple more trees to see if we can just... Actually, maybe I'll eat these quality ones. Because it's 11.20, so, I mean, this might be a wasteful, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't even fill my watering can, so let's do it while we're right here. There we go. Worm our way back up, and slowly spread out clearing from kind of here. Like, we're just, like, expanding in, like, a radial pattern out from here. Um, that's not the chest I wanted. Okay. And I'm going to keep that on me because we don't know what's in store for us. Let's, yeah, let's just continue. Please level up. That'd be so nice if we could get level 5 foraging for... Maybe I'll stop cutting down the stumps just to save time, really. Not really energy I'm not focused on, but just time. Ooh, maybe I'll be able to actually, yeah, let's try and do that. We can make five more. That should be good. Can I actually see which ones? Was it just those three? Oh, there we go, four. Okay, looks great. Um, back to chopping. Maybe I'll cut, maybe I won't do a radial right now. Maybe I'll try and cut down towards the cinder sap entrance just so that we have a bit more of a um, clear vision line. Ooh, I want a small magnet ring so bad. It's 1.10 a.m. I need to watch my time because it's probably going to be, I would assume one of, like, one of the days this episode is going to be when I pass out, which is okay. If it happens, it happens. We don't have that much money on us right now. So it's not the end of the world. We haven't leveled up though, so that's our concern. Did we level up our forging? No. Please be the tree. That would be something that would have been nice in this update is like some actual indication of where your current level's at. E150. Run. I want to pick this up even though I know we can get it tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh no, our energy. Oh no. That was an achievement or something. Um, wow. Wow, that's so much. 6,000 from those fish. That is awesome. That's awesome. That's an axe upgrade right there. But I think I'm going to... Okay, so before we do anything... Greenhorn, 15k. So we're... 10, like 9k away from meeting Demetrius. I'm going to quickly do this again before we do anything and I forget again. I don't know if you have to fully close down the game or just go into like the menu screen works, but that's what we did. Um, let's see. Weather report for tomorrow. Welcome to Kozu 5. It is going to be clear and sunny. Fortune teller is... Ooh, it's actually a good luck day today. Nice. And then I don't think this will be anything stir fry yet. We already know stir fry, which is fine. Cool. Ooh, we got some mail. Let's check our mail. And put this in here. Welcome to Aspen Farm. Oh, right. 
Um, Dear Marcus, Mr. Marcus, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you are okay. You've been billed $32 for the service. Morris, a Joja customer service representative. Um, and as we can see, I now... Ruse Bowl? It tells you that that's Ruse Bowl? <gasps> that's so cute. What the heck? We have half our energy, but thankfully we have these funny things called salmon berries that can help us out. Um, is this green bean ready? No, I can't see. It looks, it'll be ready soon. I don't remember how many days, remember how many days green beans take, but they'll be ready when they're ready. As long as we get one for the community center and one to ship, then I'm happy. And I think we will be able to achieve that. going to water, then we're going to do chickens mid-water because we'll fill up our watering can over there. I think I might have to shift shift up these plots one just so that we can fit another... I don't know, we'll see. We're going to have to experiment a little, which is fine. Okay. Do, do, do. Good morning, Beluga. Good morning, Misty. Let's see. Two gold quality. Awesome. Two large eggs. Even awesomer. <laughs> How much do these sell for? I don't even know. Does it tell us? I don't know. It will tell us at some point, as we learned last episode. <laughs> Ah, I love it. This is what I was like messaging one of my friends um, last night and I was just saying how those books like they're like I, and I was saying this last episode too but it's like how they're so many of those books are like mods but it's like you know like the smaller mods if that makes sense and like it just added them into the vanilla game but like in a very like makes sense with your level of progression way which I love. I love that. That's so cool. Okay, let's fill up our watering cans. Actually, no, it's okay. We don't need to fill this up. Wednesday. Is there anything we need to take care of today? Maybe we'll go check the board when we're doing our loop around over there just to see if there's a request that we can take care of. And also reference the um, calendar. Oh, berries. Yay. 119. Holy. Um, shoot. I wish we knew... Like maybe I just don't know, but I wish there was a way to tell where we were at with foraging. Because I think, is it tomorrow's the last day for salmon berries? The 18th? It's like the 18th or 19th, I can't remember. My goodness, but there's, this is so many. This is so many. This is good. We're never going to be strapped for energy again. Or health, I guess, because mines are scary places. Yeah, it's because there's sticks, I think, they're hiding behind the bush that I can't see. So I keep on getting stuck on them. Okay, that's looking pretty okay there. Well, maybe we'll pop down into the beach today too to see if there's a cockle there or any more dig spots for carrot seeds. Or artifacts as well. Artifacts are always nice. And again, there might be, there might have been some wormies, but I'm so bad at noticing them. Like, so bad at noticing them. Holy salmon berry bushes are they're hitting hard. And again, is this normal this many? Like blooming? I don't know. <laughs> Dunk. Oh, you fell in a very difficult spot. If only we had a small magnet ring. <laughs> Which I know we'll get at some point. We might even just get like a regular magnet ring, depending on how fast we progress down the mines which we won't really i don't know i'm like we can do hmm i don't know maybe press to 80 with the copper axe but that's kind of ambitious so we might poke around in the mines until we get five iron bars and then send in the pickaxe we'll see i'm not sold on like one mode what hello what is this what is going on here what? Huh? What? Wait, this is really pretty. Why have I never noticed this? I mean, the rainbow obviously- That was so- Ha! <laughs> what is going on? Hello? There is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. 
And it gave us like 200. That's so funny. What the heck? We have a leprechaun hat. <laughs> I love that. What the heck? That must be an Easter egg or something. I don't know. That's cool. That was awesome. This hat is hilarious. <laughs> uh, I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. That's funny. You got some new idea. Yay! Did we get level 5 foraging? Or level 4? We did! Wait, does that mean that these will start to automatically give us two? They do! Yay! Oh, that's really awesome. Thank you, Spring Onions. That was... Yay. Okay, so we'll be good for tomorrow as well then. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. That was so cool. That was so cool. I wonder what... Like, I wonder if that's just like a random event or if there's like certain criteria that need to be met um, for that. Hi, Leah. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. And you're upset. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> Gee, every, every episode there's just something that just like totally just like blindsides me. Um, do, 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 do. Where? All oh, right, we were gonna go to the beach. I was like, I came down here for some reason. My brain was telling me to come down. <gasps> Wait, huh? It didn't get drowned. What? It didn't fall in the water. Interesting. And I don't I, like. I don't have mods, so maybe that's addressed. Maybe maybe that's in the patch notes where it's like things won't be sacrificed to the water anymore. There's also no... Oh, we could fix the bridge. There is wormies here. <gasps> Yay, clay! Um, we could fix that bridge. Maybe I'll bring some wood with us tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I'll bring wood with us tomorrow to poke around that bridge. 164. Do you think this actually, like, that'd be cool if this actually... Previous owners must have been... Had a big head for a leprechaun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this game. Yay, cookies. Wait, Evelyn? Why'd you throw out cookies? Nothing is posted. Wait, it says nothing is posted, but it's still one. I wonder what... I still don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out again. Lewis, I want to... Hmm, tax collection for Spring Fest. We've spent those. I just want to check the calendar, but you're in the way. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Scary man that wants money capitalism um we're gonna i feel like i remember there being more bushes up um in like the mountain but i think that's because i have expanded in my brain on tuesdays and thursdays i work at harvey's clinic he says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire fair yeah i don't yeah I don't know what else to comment on that. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, we can say hi to Demetrius. He's out from his lab for a little bit. Bush, bush. Good evening, Demetrius. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. I think you will soon as well. And I don't even know, I'm probably going to go Mushroom Cave again, just because that's my go-to. I don't know. Oh my gosh, but the Farm Cave is in such a different location in this on this farm map. Ooh, creaky chair. Me leaning back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to get a new chair soon. I don't want a more ergonomic one, I think. But the more ergonomic they get, the more expensive they get, which is scary. Alright, teaser into the quarry. Huh? Is that a coal node? And here, is there coal nodes in vanilla now? Oh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm here for it. Because that, that will... That's awesome, I wonder if we can get them in the mines. So that would help with, like, you know, the whole coal crisis that every Stardewer encounters every t all the time. What? Those were those those had to have been coal nodes, unless there's a new mineral. Oh, 
Um, there it is. I feel like I missed worms at some point. Speaking of worms, I saw these. Cl clay? Oh, just a silly rice shoot. Wait, it gave four, but only as one. That's different. I, ooh, we should go up there because those ones all respawned nicely. Um, normally, I feel, doesn't it normally kind of like fan them out as like four individual ones? I don't know. It's fine. We'll put these in here for now. We can. Where am I storing rice shoots? Where am I storing rice shoots? Have I not held on to any? Okay. Well, I guess that's a good thing. We're gonna go put. We'll wear the leprechaun hat for the rest of the episode because that's kind of funny how we managed to get it. I love how you start with a dresser on this farm type. I wonder if that's for all different farm types, like the starting. Um. The the basic houses have it now. So that's really nice to be able to put that away, like, right away. Instead of spending, like, the $2,000 on one in, like, the rotating inventory in Robins. Because I think it was in my Hamlock playthrough. Like, we were wanting to get a dresser for, like, well over a month of in-game time. <laughs> and I think we actually just ended up getting the furniture catalog, maybe? I can't remember. It's been quite some time, because that was year one stuff. This looks different, too, up here. I don't know. For some reason, it looks different up here. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. We have 208, and we still have one one more day, maybe? That we're definitely going to use now that we have level 4 foraging. But yeah, let's... Um, how much wood do we have, actually? Let's check how much wood we have. Am I blind? 381. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's continue to just kind of chop down here, deforest our own land. Let's have to pop some of these berries, but that's okay. That's what they're there for, is to be consumed. I think maybe four. We'll eat four and see where that gets us. Was there something else I wanted to do? I should get my pickaxe while we're here so I can clean up those rocks that are kind of barring us a little bit. Pickaxe. There we go. Pop you there. Okay. Because, yeah, then we can kind of get rid of some of these stones as well. Now that we're not super pressed to be getting level 4 forging because we have achieved that. And then, yeah, we're going to be... Hmm, maybe, actually, maybe tomorrow when we loop around, we'll go to Clint's with our axe as well and get him to start working on that. Look at this, another spot that's like, looks like it's designed for a tree to just be plunked down in. But it's kind of inconvenient pathing-wise, I would say, because you'd want to path up. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of options here. And we're not sold to one option yet. Ooh, right, we're going to want to get 10 coal for a preserves jar. So we can make a jelly, even though I know the traveling merchant has had some already, but... Okay, that's normal. That one didn't scare me as much <laughs> as the terrifying huge rodent or whatever that was. Oh, gosh, it's so scary. I'm like terrified to go near those bushes during the evening now. <laughs> there, okay. I feel a little bit better about that now. Yeah, yeah, I feel better about that. Okay, let's do some rock stuff, especially the stuff in here where the grass can just grow. Because this will, again, continue to spread. Ooh, mix seeds. Don't mind if I do. Oh, my energy. Okay, we might call it a night after I just clean up a little bit more of this. How are we doing? Nine. Eight. Probably six. Four. We'll just kind of keep track this way. Two. And done. Oh, missed these ones. Dang. Dang. Um, put our resources away. Put the coal in there. Okay, so we're up to three. That's pretty decent. Put you away. Put this away. And then we're going to grab one, two, three, four, five. And we'll take you with us. Oops, not you. Not you yet, I should say. And then we are going to grab... Oops, it's also in here. We're at eight. That's actually pretty good. 
We're going to grab um, 300 of this for the beach bridge. Because it'll be nice to get that going sooner than later. Okay, and let's go to bed. 11.20. Uh, actually, we have enough time. Let's go fix the bridge right now. This might have been not a wise choice. I think we'll be okay. Ooh, worms. And I incapacitated myself. Never mind, we're going to bed. Uh, we leveled up, so we'll start with full energy. We leveled up our foraging. Well, that made the decision easy for us. Okay, my question is... Do these secret books get oops represented anywhere in here? No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're slow. We're so slow. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that using a hoe takes energy. I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Whoops. Hello, a mushroom log? What's a mushroom log? Plus one wild berry harvesting, which we got. Yes, a tapper. That's great because we're going to want to tap some stuff. And... Yeah, everything else is fine. That's a mushroom log. We're going to have to investigate that. So maybe we won't go mushrooms, depending on... I don't know how much we're going to actually... Um, I don't. I don't know how much we're actually going to get from... The crafting recipe, where are you? Hardwood and moss. Grows mushrooms every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. Interesting. I like that. I'm more used to having, like, just trees. Also, I'm going to want to make some of this. But, again, moss is a concern. Oh. A charcoal kiln. Oh, so we have the copper bars on us, that's why. Okay, weather report for tomorrow is sunny day. Oops. And fortune is luck is bad. And that's all we're going to check. Okay. It is Thursday. We have mail. Ooh, yay, bunny. Dear Marcus, it's been so long since I heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you very much. Love, mom. P.S. I found an envelope with some money grandma left for you. Grandpa left for you. And we got $500. That's awesome. Good morning, Rue. There you go. I don't like this bush here. I feel like it just blocks poor Rue from seeing things. Water chickens. Um, and then I'll probably be enough time to be able to go into town after that. Nice. I like the carrot sprites. They look very nice. Yep, and then ran out. Of, well, we still have one spot left. Let's go and say good morning to Misty. And say good morning to Beluga. And then fill our watering can while we're here. Pop in here. Grab these. Oh, and grab the egg that's directly in front of us. Put these suckers in. Sweet. Rue moved. And... Oh, I didn't restart. Is salmon berry season done? I don't see any. Oh, there they are. Shoot, do I want to restart? No, 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 no. It's fine. We already have 200. We're in a good spot. We don't need to worry that much about them now. Because I think if you have around 200, you're good until... Like, fall, really. And by the time you're in, like, late summer, there's some other options that you can do that can heal your energy for you, so... There we go. Okay, let's ship these away. Was it bats today? I think it was bats today, right? Um... Let's fill our watering can now, just so we can store it. Seven grand. We have so much. We're, we're so close to being able to get another backpack upgrade. Yeah, we're going to do some mines things today. Do some mines things. 
Actually, let's loop around. Ah, no, let's go do town stuff first before I forget. Town stuff, ocean stuff. No, there's worms and I just ran over them. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh, stretching is so satisfying. Let's go drop off this axe. And then we're going to go fix a bridge. And there's probably going to be, um, like, carrot things to dig up. But we don't have our hoe on us because I'm a goof. It's fine. Hello, Clint. Can you, you have an Omni Geode in your room. Can you upgrade a tool for us? And can you upgrade the Copper Axe? Yes. Okay, we have a decent amount of money on, on us, too, for traveling merchants tomorrow. Ooh. So that's great. Do, 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 do. Let's hope there's a cockle down here, too. Again, it's always the cockle. It's always the cockle. <laughs> no, Beach Forge doesn't like us. Oh my gosh, there's actually just nothing. Not even a dig spot. What the heck? Oh, there's a lot of coral over here. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's all hiding over here. Yes, please fix this bridge. That's a worthy investment. Sweet. Let's grab all these goodies. Holy, so much. And there's worms. No. No cockle. And we can actually, I think I'm going to go and just sell, because these don't, do these count towards the shipping? I don't think so. For some reason, I always think that Beach Forge does when it doesn't. We'll still just sell one to, or put one in the shipping bin regardless, just in case. So there's like some hidden achievement or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, then we'll sell the rest to good old Willy. Ah! Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, that scared me. Um, okay, so we'll sell the quality stuff. There we go, and we just have a deluxe bait now that we're just gonna have, which is fine. Have we gotten any more bobbers? We have! What? There's a happy face one? That's so awesome! So I feel like this is as you catch different types of fish. Maybe. Or, again, it might be like a certain, um, size of fish. Like... Because you know how you can get like records depending on the size you catch. That's fun. I like that. I like having like, you know, a reason to go into Willy's to check that out. And there's like a lot of them that we still haven't unlocked. Okay, let's do a loop of cinder sap. Grab the berries that whatever berries have spawned for us now at this point. I might just pop this. That's fine. Let's snack on it. Yeah, that's, we'll be fine. This is going to bug me how these are all over the place. Okay, I need to pull this up so I remember to store it because I did a little oopsie. That was very expensive. I can actually take this out too because we can swing it around and clear some of the fiber that's been challenging us. What is that? Is that like one of our sculptures? Is that like a like the ruins of a structure? I don't know. Um, interesting. And go see if there's another pot of gold, I guess. I don't know. Hi, Leah. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Do you want a daffodil? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. No problem. Berry bush. Berry bush. Spring onions. I saw that squirrel, so that didn't scare me. <laughs> I might have missed one, but that's okay. Again, this is all really surplus at this point, so... Um, hello? Oh, there's a bush there, that's why. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
Um, we're probably not going to do legendary fish until the second year. Look at that. There's no pot of gold today. This is so pretty. This is so pretty right there going into the ocean. Do you sell this hat now? You sell a good old cap though. We don't have that much disposable income to just be spending on hats yet. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, so there's some fiber up here that we're going to want to clear out just to make our lives a bit easier. Yeah, navigating cinder sap. Oh, yeah, okay, so you can tell, like, we didn't reset the day, so that's why there's, like, no berry bushes. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow just in case. I don't know. Let me actually... Bring 15 to 18. Never mind. We're not going to do it tomorrow because it's over. Which is fine. Oops, 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 oops. Grab some of these. Grab some of these. Hello. Here we go. And then, yeah, we'll just go through the backwoods. And what? You can. Huh? You can swing at the bush and it knocks off the berries for you? That's cool. That's new. That's like harvest with... That's so cool. I like that. Okay. That's good to know. That's very handy. Yeah. Free the berries from the bush. <laughs> oh, Leah moved to painting on the dock. That's cool. Good job, Leah. <laughs> ah, so many little changes. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly. Being able to just swipe a weapon, or I'm assuming a scythe as well, at a um, berry bush. I'm going to hit these down too, because they're just going to get a little bit annoying. And while I have this tool on me, like, yeah, look, at they just spread so fast. They spread so fast. Oh my gosh, Rue, what you doing down there? <gasps> No, never mind. I lost my mind. Sorry, I just gasped for no reason. <laughs> Oops. Where are my mixed seeds? Okay, and then we'll put the bait in here. These are going to be shipped. Ship, ship. And I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I'm going to bring my hoe with me. And if we encounter something on the way, we encounter something on the way. Oh my goodness, my nose. Oh, I feel a sneeze might be coming on. It's okay, we'll wait until it happens. Oh, I don't know, it's tingling down. Oh, it's tingling. It's okay, just breathe, just breathe. <laughs> nope, no, it's happening, it's happening. And as promised, I popped the allergy pills, <laughs> which they don't, you know, they don't ever kick in right away because they're not like liquid gels or anything. So, ah, my gosh, silly nose. Yay, berries. Oh, hi, Maru. Hey, so I picked up, a, uh, so I picked up dandelion at the store last night. My mom wanted something for good for dinner. Dandelion soup? I don't know. What are you making? Dandelion salad? Which is actually a thing. Anyways, um, you're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Just as pals, I love it. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Oh, that's a really nice comment, Demetrius. Did they change text lines for Demetrius? Because I know he's always very, um, a little bit more rough with his interactions. But that was like a very pleasant one. Okay, I'm not going to worry about over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to store half of those in there in case something perilous happens in the mines. Then we have less... Okay, I mean, that's a good way to start, hey? Oh, and there's a freebie as well, isn't it? It's a... Oh, it's a good luck day. Not like an awesome luck day, but a pretty good luck day. Wow, what the heck? How many nodes was that? Was that like nine nodes? Okay, well, we're going to be able to get our pickaxe upgrade, like, already, because we have some iron in our, um, 
Already in the chest. Ah, the frozen levels. We're home. <laughs> we'll really be home when we get to level 50. Holy dusties over there. What is going on? Does the copper at pickaxe color look different? Is that just me? It looks very almost like golden. Coal, dusties. Yay. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to fight our way into this one, hey? And we're gonna wanna, yeah, we're gonna be spending quite some time on the frozen levels for various reasons. One of them being um, for coal from the dusties. The other one being bats for bat wings so we can make lightning rods. Having a few of those for summertime will be nice. And and then obviously the iron is nice. You need iron for a lot of things, honestly. The potential um, refined quartz from breaking the, the like little glass gem things. What the heck? What the heck? There's so many staircases. We'll go with the most recent one. Okay, let's get some of the smelting, hey? Because I think if we get it now, we might be able to pick it up in time for um, our way home. But there we go. There's our, our iron pickaxe ready. Ooh, a winter root. Yay, that's awesome. That'll be good for when we get the seed maker. And I know we'll get a few more of them. Okay, sure. Nice, a jade. We'll have to make a stop to Gunther too with all of these gems that we haven't donated yet. Because I know we get the... It's too late now, I think, because they take 12 days or 13 days, but we get the cauliflower seeds. Which will be nice. Ooh, and an emerald. What the heck? So we just need... A ruby and a diamond, I think. And then a fire quartz, but... We'll get the fire quartz eventually. Hello, where's the way down? I would like a way down. Ooh, we're getting a decent amount of frozen geodes as well. That's awesome because that's usually a limiting item as well. I wonder if there's a book that will say reveals where the mine ladder is. I don't know. These books kind of just took me by surprise, honestly. It's also 1110, so I don't know if level 50 is going to be feasible. Honestly, that's okay. We made like really good progress. Oh, holy, holy. We made really good progress today alone. Just with like the amount of iron we got. Come back, Dusties. Stop running away from me. Just one of you. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. But I want to also claim the coal from you. Thank you for your donation. 1140. Ooh, we're probably going to be cutting it close here. Ooh, what? A bridal shirt? You get clothes from monsters now? Look at me. I'm so fancy. You get clothes from monsters? Maybe that's why you got a dresser in your house, because it's you're just going to be getting... I've never gotten a piece of clothing from, like, a blue slime on these levels before. That's awesome. All the people who like to play this game for, like, getting all the different clothing and everything are going to be having a heyday. Is there... Oh, this sucks. I hate being at, like, level 48. They were so close. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, and it's a big one too! Oh, that's awesome. Always worth breaking crates. Always worth breaking the crates. Especially if you're kind of going to be passing them. Um, sweet. Okay, let's see what we can smelt. Oh, I'm just not wearing a shirt. Whoops. Let's bring back some of these with us. And we can do... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's just smelt these up. This may be to the detriment of getting back to the farm in time, but that's okay. Our ho, our ho, our ho. And we have the winter root, which I didn't really mean to keep on us, but the decision has been made. <laughs> Oh, we might be. I think we'll be okay. It'll be a little close, but I think we'll be okay. <gasps> it was another one. It was on the left side of the screen. It was another one. Gosh, it's so big and scary. It looks like an ant. Like, if you're not really focused on it, it looks like a giant ant. Oh my gosh, it's 140. Oh my gosh, it's 140. Let me put these in here. Yeah, we can store those. Ah, those go in resources. What am I... I'll put that away. Grab you. Put that away. And get in the house. I'm going to put that up there so I remember to deal with that. Yay, and we made it to bed. Did we level up anything today? Oh! Oh, that's so cool. It shows you... Uh, like, did you see that in the bottom left? It showed you a little speaker icon to, like... Be like, there's a noise you should be listening to. An explosion was heard in the night. Level 4 mining. Pickaxe proficiency. And we got the new crafting recipe, which is a transmutation to iron. And a glowstone ring. Is it... Do we normally get the glowstone ring recipe this early? Maybe. I don't know. Holy. Another, like... That's actually decent for just, like... The two gold star mayos gives 570 gold. This early on? That's... That's huge. That's huge. Wow. Is it Friday? It's Friday. It's traveling cart day. Let's check the weather. The weather tomorrow is another sunny day. And our luck today is neutral. Okay, that's fine. We can work with neutral. Oh, whoops. I meant to put away this bridal shirt. That's, that's so cool, getting shirts. And our beans are ready, so we just need cauliflower now, and then we'll have all of our community center our spring crops. Put you away, these go in here. Let's check our mail. Farmer Marcus, I have a request for you. I need a fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? From Jody. Yes, that is why we are growing three. One for the community center. Um, one to ship, maybe? Um, and then one for Jody. One to ship if it is not gold quality. If it's gold quality, we're going to hang on to it for the luau. <laughs> Oops, I didn't even give Rue some water. There you go, Rue. And let's water. How are we doing on our funds? 19. Okay, so basically once we probably sell this round of parsnips, no, this won't be 6 grand worth. I'm just thinking when we're going to unlock the farm cave. That's where my brain is at. Sorry, the flashing icon on the UI is going to bother me, so... And then we can water seven over here. Actually, the carrots are ready. Do we have two carrot seeds? Do I leave these until tomorrow? I'm going to leave those until tomorrow. Hi, Rue. Good morning, which one are you? You're Misty. Where's Beluga? There's Beluga. Hi, Beluga. Beluga really likes hanging out by the water. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> nice. Got a large one, which is going to give us gold mayo, and then the regular one will give us a regular mayo. I think that's how it works, right? It's dependent on their size. For the quality of mayo. Excellent. Excellent. I don't know when our... I think is our axe ready tomorrow? I think I'll be ready tomorrow, right? There we go. Okay, let's sell off this mayo. Then we'll go to Traveling Merchant. See what's up there. See what spicy stuff 
is in store. Actually, before we do that, let's grab our hoe. There you are. Yeah, let's go see what stuff there's in store for us. Like, literally in the store for us. Now I want to go down south and see if there's another pot of gold, just because that was so fun. What are the odds that I happen to just, like, be down there when that happened, hey? Uh, Parsnip Shrub, Sandfish, Melon. Yeah, see, like, all of these are, like, new. Like, this is not a normal rotation, I would say. Bug Meat, Pale Broth, Bullhead, we don't... Ah, no, we don't need a Bullhead. Okay, so nothing too crazy. I'm not too concerned about buying a Rare Seed yet. Uh, we could probably do that in the summertime. Oh, missed a Salmon Berry the other day. All right. I don't know if this is the most effective use of time. Oh, did I just... Oh, I auto sack them all into... Um, that one place. <laughs> the mine's chest. And you're still all the same. No pot of gold today. So it must be a rare event then, hey? That makes sense why it's a rare event. It's a leprechaun. What was the... Oh no, it was March... It was spring 17th. So that'd be, yeah, like March 17th. Right? Is that when we did it? Was it spring 17th? Because that would make a lot of sense. That would make complete sense. <laughs> that's that's an Easter egg then. That's not a rare event. That's just an Easter egg. That's fun. Not the actual, like, see, you know, holiday of Easter. But, the, like, a, a fun little secret to find Easter egg. Um, why am I coming this way? What was I going to do? I can fill my watering can. <laughs> Let's... Let's go check for a cockle, because again, I'm so... I don't know. And we have our hoe, so we can dig up some spots while we're down there, too. I just really want a cockle, because I feel like I'm just like so traumatized from one of our other playthroughs. Or we, where we weren't getting one. <laughs> and Forge is going to despawn soon anyways. Ooh, there's wormies. The trip was worth it. There's something here. <gasps> clay. Is that in clay number nine? I think that might be clay number nine. And there was worms over here. Did they despawn? Yes, it looks like it. That's okay. <gasps> oh, cockle. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay, so now all we need is a crab from a rock crab. Oh my gosh, we got the cockle in spring. What are the odds? That feels so good to get that cockle. Oh my gosh. Let's go and let's go and donate it right now. Okay, sure. Oh, that's so cool. It gives you a buff for 21 seconds. Wait. Does, has Joja Cola always given you speed buff? I don't think Joja Cola has given you speed buffs in the past. I think it's just healed you, so that's new. I mean, it's quick. It makes sense if it's like Coke, right? Like Coca-Cola. Like there's caffeine in Coca-Cola, so that makes sense. Or Pepsi. I don't know if you're a Coke or Pepsi person, but... There's, there's similarities. They're not the same, but there's similarities. <laughs> that's cool. That's a cool. It's like it's a little tiny little burst of speed. Actually makes drinking Joja Colas more worth it. Gosh, every time I see a critter, I just think about the, the monster. It's so big. So scary. Uh, I'm just going to ship these. I'm going to put away this. Isn't, yay, that is clay number nine. And let's switch our tools. We're going to grab you, you. And we're going to, I think we're going to try and press, oops, that's wrong. We're going to try and press down to floor 50, maybe 55. It's only 150, so it's quite early in the day. I think we're doing okay. Ooh, I might have to pause in a second here. We'll see. Whoops, had to do a quick little pause there, so that's why the window's different, because I was just reading something too. These, I mean, I don't think this is spoiler, because we've seen this orientation of stars before. I think this is just a visual track of 
the community center but you know rooms as you've completed them um and then another thing that I quickly realize is that I already asked who liked fishing so some of you might <laughs> be like wait you already asked this uh, so whoops sorry um, I think it was on like the first episode of this playthrough I was like who likes fishing <laughs> so I asked it again but it's because it's always on my mind I guess so we're just revisiting um, sweet let's do a little bit more well that's an assortment of things there I don't want all of these I just want half okay and we're going to store you, you, yes, okay. And we're just going to press down. Uh, we're going to get, we're for sure going to get to level 50, I would say. 55 would be nice. I hear you. I hear you. Maybe we'll get those coal nodes in like the level 80s. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, and crates. We like crates. It's like the Hemlock series using Margo that really made me enjoy breaking crates. It's also a neutral luck day, so I don't think we're going to be as lucky with staircases. Yeah, the, the copper pickaxe just seems a bit brighter. Seems like a lighter hue. Is that just me? It's not as brown. Like, it's not bad, it's just different. That's all. <laughs> I might be losing my mind. Maybe it's because it's... I'm just seeing it on like vanilla colors and not like a recolor version. I don't know. But I didn't really use recolored tools in any of my modding um, escapades. I bet you it's this rock over here. It's always by the top. It's always by the top. Is it this one? It is not. Wow. I got baited. Anyways, found it. Let's go and find the monsters first. If there is any, what the heck? There's a slime. Oh, this is a parry weapon. Okay. E, E, E. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, the cape carrots are also really nice because they're like a quick emergency food. Nice. Frozen geode. Um, I see you, slime. Was that a bat? What was that? Oh, so nice having a magnet ring too. I can't believe we got like a, just like a regular magnet ring first. So now all that I would really want is a coffee bean from one of these, but it might take a little bit to get there. Oh, you're a spicy, holy, oh yay, another winter root. That's awesome. So we can actually take one to the community center now. And there's two bats, which is also really awesome. You got some new ideas to sleep on. Cool, a combat level up. I love that visual cue of when you get a level up. That, that's, it's such a minor detail, but like very significant detail. Small, not minor, like small change, I should say, but like very significant. Holy freebies. Oh my gosh, there's level 50. Nice. Oh, and there's a, there's a boss slime. I'm scared I'm going to interact with that. Okay. Go get this. Wait, I got a shirt. Officer uniform. Sure. We'll wear this for a little bit. Wow, I'm gonna be like just a whole mismatch of. You have so many clothes now. I'm so not used to that. That's fine. You actually like change how you look. Ooh, a wooden mallet. I don't know if I want to use this 15 to 24. No, it's actually not as good. But that's money that we can make. So 7 p.m. Yeah, we'll go and sell it right now, actually. After we kind of just mop up this floor a little bit, I think there were some crates that we want to make sure we interact with as well. But yeah, we need because the Adventurer's Guild closes at 10. Let's see if there's anything fun from these. Okay, okay, coal and copper. We got a whole copper bar worth from that. And this is boots? Yes. You received Tundra boots. Which is one more defense than we currently have, which is awesome. Okay, so then we can sell those as well. Let's do that. I think let's put on some bars. I think we have enough to put on some bars. Yeah. Four bars worth. That's still good. Pop those in there. Yeah, that's fine. 
Actually, I'm gonna put the shirt in here now. We might, we're probably gonna change back to it, but we'll wear this officer's uniform with our leprechaun hat for <laughs> for a little bit here. Um, hello, Marlon. Do you have anything new that you want to sell us? No. Ooh, that's how much does that sell for? Three hundred. Okay, one fifty and a hundred there. That's pretty good. Nice combat boots. You're already selling combat boots. Wow. Okay, let's check how we're doing here. Doing pretty okay. Yeah, it's all pretty normal. How many, have we killed a thousand? How many monsters have we killed? 200, okay. Not bad. We'll get that in no time. I'm not worried about that. Like that'll just happen naturally. Um, let's drop off these bars though. Ooh, this chest is getting very full. I need to remember to bring up another chest with us. And let's see if we can get to 55. Ooh, ghost. Please give us a solar essence. That would be very handy. Hello? I want these bats as well. Yay. That's good for the furnace, the boiler room, whatever you want to call it. And we're on my favorite resets, floor 51 to 53. Oh, and another boss slime. That's more money. Because it's probably going to drop like a mallet or tundra boots or something. Ooh, and a dwarf scroll. Awesome. That's number one right there. Well, that, that is a number. That's our first one, I should say. Sorry. Oh, it did drop a forest sword. Slime gatherer. Plus one. What are those at the bottom? There's stats on it. What does slime gatherer mean? Does that mean that slimes aggro to you? Or you get more slime if you kill a slime with it? But plus, is that like a, like we get speed? Or like the swing speed of it is? I don't think it's walking speed because that doesn't look any different. That's so interesting. So the weapons you get as drops. I wonder if there's, there's another, I was hoping there was gonna be more combat mechanics. Cause that, again, that was another um, area of stardew that was it, it, it was kind of lacking in comparison so that's cool to see that there's actually been some additions and this is my favorite floor because there's always monsters there's always ores there's everything on this floor and we got a freebie as well which is great we're just going to mop up some of these monsters while they're here yeah, I love floor 53. I don't know why. I'm just like so curious to kill these now to be like, are you going to give me another piece of clothing? There's so many bats, which is great because we need a lot of bat wings. I should probably heal soon. Oh, I stored my... Okay, well, this might get a little fun. Worst comes to worst, we have um, some cave carrots. But our, our health is still pretty okay. I hear a bat. I want to kill it. There you are. Break these because they might give you a refined quartz. 54. Let's see if we can... Ooh, okay. Ooh, we might have to make use of these cape carrots. Nice. This ghost is... Oh my gosh, it's already midnight? Holy. That's not so good. I hear a million bats coming for us. Yay. Okay, that's good. We got our guaranteed um, ladder. Or elevator. Twelve thirty. We have to leave soon. That's so many bat wings. That's really exciting. All right, howdy. Here we go. Let's grab these for the road. Store what we can, which is that, that, that. We'll bring one to ship. Ooh, we're already full. We'll bring this back with us. We will bring these back with us. 
We will bring the hoe. Um, we'll bring these, why not? We'll just keep these on us. I'm not too worried about dying. I don't think that's... We can bring all this forage with us. And... Yeah, let's put on some. That's fine. We can do this. We'll save the copper just so that if we decide we want to start making... Um, brain has left my uh, this playing field um some more furnaces there we go the copper will be there so we'll kind of just stockpile it where, as we get these you know, sporadic nodes and such oh uh, this is looking good i brought back the solar essence so that we can ship it because i do know that goes towards the shipping achievement so we can just ship this one and then the rest of them we can use for crafting after that point is there wormies up here i don't think so that's okay all right, and I think our um, copper axe will be ready tomorrow, so we'll be able to send in our pickaxe, and I think that's fine. I think we can send in our pickaxe, honestly. Yeah, I think we'll be able to send in the pickaxe. So I'm going to actually make sure I just have these on us, because it'll cost, how much does it cost? Five grand, which we have. And I'm going to start, nope, nope, no, no. no. My goodness. Sorry, I know I'm chest spamming right now. I want you in there. I want you in there. And let's see if we can race over here real quick. And bonk. And bonk. Okay, so it's okay if we pass out now. Less than ideal, but I want to put that away. There we go. And can we make it into bed? We can. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Level 3 combat. Root splatter. Plus 5 HP. That's pretty standard. Cool, another 775. Wow, just make money so fast. Bink. Excellent, copper axe is ready. Weather report for tomorrow is a sunny day. And our fortune for today is good luck. Okay, hmm. And ooh, yay, these are not, I don't think those are ready. That's not what done cauliflower looked like. But we can definitely do these because we can go and buy some more things from Pierre's. And I might just sell these directly to Pierre. Just so we see what we're working with. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 4, 7, to 56, so we need 60 seeds. Okay. 60 seeds! Um, yeah, selling these because then we can do the axe upgrade fine. So I'm going to water everything right now, I think, because we're going to be planting regardless. And I think I'm going to do parsnips again, just so that we have money for traveling merchant tomorrow, because she seems to be quite um, generous in terms of her wares lately, so... I'll make sure that we have enough just in case, yeah, like a $3,000 rabbit's foot pops up or something. Or like a truffle. Again, truffle would be nice. So sad we weren't able to buy that one. Oh, how did I manage to water all of that? Watering can proficiency, I guess. Oh my gosh. Rue, I haven't even said good morning to you or given you your water. Nice. Two large eggs. That's how much is that again? 500 something? No, don't need it. That's a lot of money though. That's good. Good morning, Rue. Give a little scratch on the head as we pass on by. Give you some water. And let's finish doing this. Why do I feel like there's going to be something happening tomorrow in the game? The 21st of spring, because that's like the equinox. Normally, right? And there was already something on spring 17. There we go. Alright, let's go and sell some stuff, buy some stuff. Grab some stuff, turn in some stuff. And I don't feel, ooh, a leak up here. I don't feel as pressured to go to the beach now that we got that cockle. Um, even though I know everything resets 
today really like tomorrow there'll be a new reset of forage but uh, i don't know maybe we'll do some tree chopping today because we're gonna be we'll have our axe back do some clearing okay let's sell you 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 we can sell the mayo here as well and we need 50 60. we still have 10 grand that's awesome so we'll have five grand for the traveling merchant Anything? 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 Oh, I didn't even check. Okay, I need to loop back around and check the calendar and the um, bulletin board. Could have brought the things down for Gunther as well. Yay! Thank you for the copper axe, Clint. I appreciate you, my friend. Do you sell anything? No, you're still selling the same old. Okay, so now we're going to do the steel pickaxe five iron bars and five thousand dollars that's a really worthy investment yes i appreciate you we'll say good morning to harvey as he's walking can i do anything for you no i'm just chatting take care you as well i'd give you a leak but i don't think you like leaks let's take a quick peek down while we're here why not uh... Wow, it's very empty. Very empty. How about over here? Yeah, there's a coral. Two coral. Three coral. Okay, and there's no dig spots. That's good, because I'd actually be really upset if there's a dig spot, because I don't have my hole on us. Um, sweet. 5,000. I might sell the forge, too, just for some extra cash, just in case. Um, I should fill my watering can over here. Oops, that's not how you fill a watering can. That's how you water the wall of a bridge. And we're gonna go up and check the board again. Ooh, let's check out this. Are you, where are you going, Sebastian? What? I didn't, um, I didn't hear you. I'm busy talking, thinking about something. Wow, apparently I'm also busy thinking about something. This is such a small town. You can't avoid meeting everyone. You smell like grass. And dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. What's Haley doing? I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. Ugh, I wish there was a mall here. <laughs> okay, what's on the docket for us? Oh, bookseller tomorrow, and we have so much money. Oh, we might be able to buy a book. Oh my gosh, that's. I'm gonna probably throw away money at that, but I want to. It's Shane's birthday. Do we have anything to give Shane? I don't think so. We have forage. And we don't have any there. I don't even know where Shane is. He's probably working today. Does he work on his birthday? No, I think he stays home, actually. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe, like, once Jojo Mart isn't a place that he works at anymore. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. We'll see. I mean, he probably... I don't know. I don't know. Let's get these in the ground. This will be our second last. I think we'll be able to get out one more harvest of parsnips before the, the turn of the season. So that's good. All right. And let's actually just grab all... Oh, we'll save you, whatever. We'll grab all the forage out of here and we'll just sell it. Just again for some more cash. Some more things in our bag. Um... Let's switch tools for you and where are you? You? Yeah, that order looks fine. And let's do some chopping. We can chop down these stumps now. Now that we got the forging level. Before they start to spread some more seeds. We should actually, you know what I kind of want to do is... Um, I want to make a couple tappers because I'm always so bad about making tappers and I think they're what is it like copper bars or something I, I don't remember what tappers are where are you wood and copper bars I think we have both of those we just need one two three yeah that's all I want is three so we're gonna put one on each tree type Actually, you know what I'm going to 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll do this. That's fine. Um, we're going to grab a pine cone. Because we have a maple tree and we have an oak tree here, which we can tap. And then I'm going to plant a pine cone here and we'll make that our pine tree tapped tree just so that all three of those are the same spot and really that's just so that we can ship them and then get the ones we need for community center stuff because we'll set up a more formal tapping system later <laughs> i'll leave it at that um but yeah that's the plan oh wait i can actually cut down those stumps now can't i because I think it's just uh, the copper axe is good for these ones, but you need the iron axe. Yay! Ooh, we can get to that across the the brook in our farm. And actually, we have the 10 hardwood that we need for the community center now. Yay! Ooh, so much progress. We can actually, how about we take up the wood too while we go? And we can visit the mines for the stone. Ooh, so many things. We can finish the construction bundle, which is great because then we can unlock some more rooms. Excellent. I'm gonna cut these down. I know it's gonna be quite bare for a little bit. I apologize, but it's part of the process, right? Actually, did we get another clay? I don't think so, hey? I don't think we've gotten another clay yet. Oops, oops. Did we? Oh, my energy. Let's okay, let's pop some berries. <laughs> there we go. And boop. And boop. This poor tree beside probably it's like parent tree, just like, where'd you go? And then here I am just gonna completely delete its existence. Whoops. Cool. There's yeah, it's getting a little chaotic in here. What was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. Okay, we have the 10 hardwood. We need two stacks of 99 wood, which might be, we might not have that. And then we need, is it 99 stone as well? Where are you, construction bundle? Is it, oh, cause I'm in the pantry. I need to be in the crafts room. Yes, okay, so we should be able to complete that. Oh, we actually don't have enough wood. Okay, well, good thing we're cutting down trees right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Misty or Beluga agrees. Okay, we'll save the stumps again now. I think we're at like, let the stumps do their thing mode. How did that become bluegrass? Does it just become bluegrass at some point? Because there's another patch right there too. And it seems very random for that bluegrass to be there. Okay, that should be good for a community center. 197, it's not. That's so funny. We're one wood short. <laughs> Bonk. There we go. Okay. I don't get another one just because. Uh, we'll get another one just because. Okay. It's 99 times 2 is 198. So we are going to just store this and... Oh, I did that the wrong way. I meant to do that. There, okay, and then we're gonna go swing up to the mines. We're gonna see how much coal we have to see if we can make a preserves jar. Did I say good morning to you? I did, hi, Rue. Yeah, we're gonna go swing up to the mines. Grab out the stone we need from there because I know we have over 100 stone in there currently. And then go pop into the community center and unlock another room or two. <laughs> Worms? No worms up here. Worms down here? No worms down here. Hi, Maru. I feel like this we seem to... Do you know my dad, Demetrius? He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him in the laboratory. I feel like we've encountered each other there more than once at this point. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I do think. 
Let's see, if compounds in the rhizosphere contain sufficient levels of carbon-13, then I'm talking about isotopes here. Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data. I didn't notice you there. Yeah, no worries. I get lost in my, my mind all the time, too. Happens. Okay, so, ooh, nice. We have some bars. I forgot that we put those on. And we have 16 coal. How much did we have? If I bring back... We either had four or six. I can't remember. And we're actually going to bring back these. We'll leave one. We'll bring back one of these. We will bring one of these. One of these. Um, all of these, I guess. And not those. I can't remember. We can bring one of these for the community center. Bring one of these. I don't know if we are going to unlock the bulletin board. Uh, then we can bring this, I guess, if we're going to be doing that. Yes. Yes. Oh, and one of these. Right. Okay, I think that's everything that we want from there. I think that's good. If I forgot some stuff, I forgot some stuff. That's fine. We'll... We can always visit again. But why not bring all of these while we need them? Oops, whoops, whoops. I wasn't looking at the game. That's why I was walking into rocks. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. There needs to be like a nighttime music, like a softer. Like, you know how Animal Crossing has a different song for like almost every hour or like a couple of hours? That's not where I want to go. Um, that'd be nice if there was like an evening time song that played in Stardew. Just like a slower, like kind of like this kind of music. Exotic forging, we had you. Um, construction, we have you, we have you, you, and you. Done. And we get a charcoal kiln, that's awesome. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I didn't want to put in that yet. Don't have access to that, don't have access to that. Yeah, we're good. Yay. Oh, so we didn't get the... I guess we have to complete one more bundle. Shoot, I thought we would have gotten the bulletin board. My brain is backwards. That's okay. We still have some stuff that we can put in here. What the heck? Oh, that was the Junimo putting in the little thing. Okay, so I'm going to put one of you in. Sure. Um, geologist, we brought you, we brought you, we brought you. We will get you soon. And adventurers, I just brought this. And then we'll get a void essence because I want to hang on to the bat wings. Yeah, and then the rest of this was going to be for um, the bulletin board, which we haven't opened yet, which is fine. I'd say that was pretty successful. That was a lot of things that we checked off there. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. And we'll just put the frozen geode and um, the mushroom with our pomegranate because those are all going to be going in relatively the same place. Worms? No worms. Okay, let's... Excuse me. Let's chop down... Actually... Um, yeah, we'll chop down some... Oh my goodness, excuse me. Holy hiccuping everywhere. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, how much wood do we have? We only have two wood. Okay, so I'll put that in there for now. And... Ah! Do we only have three coal? Whoops. That's okay. We don't have enough wood anyways. Okay, so I need one more coal at some point. Let's see. Which trees or stumps are inhibiting us? Cut it this way so it doesn't go in the water. Okay, that's looking pretty okay. I guess we can get rid of this little guy right there. Get rid of that. Ooh, actually, do we have enough clay? We might have enough clay for a silo, so we could maybe request Robin to build us a silo. 
which means I'm actually going to come and look up here. Let's actually just pop some of these before I get myself into trouble. Hmm, we have a lot of expenses we want to do because of Silo, but then uh, Marcelo is coming tomorrow. Clean up as we go because, again, energy is not the most demanding thing. Um, I feel like this spot, is this, actually, is a silo three wide? We'll cut this down just in case, but I feel like this spot was kind of maybe implied for a silo. I don't know, we'll see. I think, why do I feel like a silo is three wide? I don't think it'll fit there. That's okay. Okay, let's continue to just cut down trees because we need the wood. We have two wood in our chest right now. Speaking of chests, before I forget, I'm just going to make one. So we have no wood again <laughs> immediately. Back to the tool. And yeah, we're gonna basically cut until 1 a.m. I think. Just try and stockpile the wood. Cause I'd like maybe one more chest up at the mines. Um because it's gonna start to get a little kind of chaotic up there. And I think we're almost at the point where we can start to um, organize our chests a little bit more here. This is the tree spot I was talking about and I'm just mowing down this poor oak tree. Is this an oak tree or is this the... I think that's the oak tree, right? No, that's a maple tree. Jeez, I'm backwards. Twelve thirty, looking pretty okay. Let's try and free up the front of our greenhouse a little bit. Poor the greenhouse, decrepit. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a vanilla greenhouse. Ooh, tricky. Vanilla greenhouse layouts are not my favorite. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth eating that salmon berry because now we have excess energy. Whoops, that's okay. I think we're at the point now where we don't need to totally cap out on our energy because how easy it is to kind of replenish. So yeah, that's fine. That's a lot of wood though, that's awesome. Okay, let's start to shift around our chests. I think we can do it here for now. It's kind of like a temporary one. Um, so I'm gonna move these here. I wish we could pick up chests. Maybe you can, I don't know. And I'm actually gonna make, I think I'm gonna make two more with this wood, yeah. And we're gonna go one here and one here, okay. We're gonna grab all of this and it can go in here. And we can grab all of this. Oh, no we can't, it's 150. Um, there you are. Sorry, I was looking for my watering can. And let's just go to bed. We can finish up tomorrow. Last day of the episode. Oh my gosh, already. Holy, I'm having way too much fun. I'm having way too much fun. How are we doing? Two hours. Okay, so this one will be a little bit longer. That's okay. Day 21 of spring. It's the equinox. Maybe we'll do some poking around, see if there's anything fun with the Equinox. The bookseller is in town today. What's the weather? It'll be a sunny day when we come back. The fortune is bats, that's okay. We don't really need luck on our side today. And we learned radish salad. You learned how to cook radish salad. Excellent, ooh, and our cauliflower is done. I don't know if I wanna pull the cauliflower yet because we, They'll dis we'll have barren... Uh, it's okay. It's okay, because we can complete the spring crops bundle. And we got three base quality ones. Okay, so that looks like it's going to be a ship angle. Oops, I missed you. And yet, we'll just lock in that cauliflower shipping, even though I'm sure we're going to be shipping more cauliflower down the road, but... 
fine. We'll get it in now. Actually, let me just do it right now. Boop. And then we have one for Jody and one for the community center. Looks great. Uh, I'm going to fill our... Wait, how can we start with such low energy? Is it because I went to bed at like 150? Maybe. Good morning, Misty. Where's Beluga? Is he inside? She? Where's Beluga? What the heck? Where are you blending into, Beluga? There you are. Oh my goodness, did I just run by Rue again too? I'm so sorry, Rue. Oops, I'm watering a gate. Where are you, Rue? There you are, sleeping on your little pad over here. Hi, Rue, good morning. How are our friendships doing? Two hearts with Beluga and Misty already? Wow. I love how there's a scrolling wheel, but there's, there's nothing to scroll. <laughs> we can ship our mayos, which we can come back for if there's, you know, an expensive purchase we're looking for, because we have $5,000 to work with for traveling merchant and bookseller. Excellent. Okay. Actually, let's finish this off while we're here. Um, so we're going to grab you. These, all of the... Oh, I didn't even realize those are in there. These are supposed to go in here. This is... I don't know if I want to color code these. I don't think I have to because I think it's the same system that I always have. This can go here. Which means that these can come out. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just put these in there for now. And now we should be able to... Oh, we have nine clay. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to transport all of these. So this is... If you haven't watched any of my other playthroughs or new to the channel, I have like a certain storage system that I typically follow. Like pretty much every time. Um, what else do I have? Fish stuff fish stuff usually it goes here or here i can never remember which one the fish stuff is we'll make it here and we'll just put in like the trash in there too for now that's fine and then we leave this one here yeah we leave this one here um but we can take i think we can take these we can take these for take that take that take you take you take you take you Yes. And then some forage things. We can put in the forage, forage. Um, oh, I don't have a chest for these ones yet. That's okay. We'll put it there. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's fill our watering can. Then we need to grab our hoe. So we can switch out our watering can for our hoe. And Jody, right, there was, we need the potato from here. So we have, oh shoot, I don't have a parsnip. Oh no, I don't have a parsnip. Can I buy one? I can maybe buy one back from Piers, actually. I think we're fine. Yes, we're fine. Okay, so then this is going to be community center. This is also going to be community center. Yeah, okay, everything's looking fine. We're going to go down to Traveling Merchant first because there might be a community center item down here that we can bring with us. Who knows? Gosh, this grass grows so fast. Let's take a peek, see what's going on. A look-see. <gasps> Wormies! Another lost book. Sweet. A lost book on book day. Do, do, do. Fiddle had risotto, artichoke dip, crystal four, copper mayo, a yam. I'm not too worried about a yam. Queen. Okay, so actually nothing, and I'm okay with that because that means that we can splurge on books. <laughs> Probably one book, honestly, because they were they were all like around four digits each. Okay, so we're gonna go quick up. Zoom. We're gonna quick up. Jeez. We're gonna zoom up to Pierre's to see if we can buy back a um, parsnip. Jody probably actually Jody is not here. She's probably at in Pierre's because it's Sunday. 
Sunday morning. We didn't take a peek around to see if there was any fun 21st Easter eggs. I don't know. What the heck was that? Was that an animal? Ooh, we have a bulletin board. Earth crystal at three times the value. We will do that, George. We can do that for you. There's Jody. Um, Pierre, do you have a parsnip? You do. Do you have a regular quality one? You do. Nice. That's expensive, but that's fine. I think it's actually just the price it was to sell. Jody, I have something for you. Where are you? Oh, that looks so delicious. Thank you. This is just what I wanted. It's going to be perfect for my new yellow curry. Mmm. $350 for that. Wow. Ah, do I have a nurse crystal on me? I do. I'm going to give George this one. We can always come back and give um, Gunther another one. Hello, Marcus. Is that the earth crystal I requested? It looks perfect. Here's your payment, as promised. Even more money. Yay. And then we had friendship with George, which was great. Oh, that gave us a heart with Jody. That's cool. Okay, so we need to remember to bring an earth crystal to... Ooh, they're having a meeting. Scary. Spooky. Okay, so we're going to go up to community center first, and then we're going to go to bookseller, then we'll go down to Gunther. So we have, what do we have? We have crops. Right, spring crops bundle. Where are you? Spring crops bundle. We have the parsnip, we have the green bean, we have the cauliflower, and we have the potato. Bundle complete. Thank you for the speed grow. And I think, does that, yeah, because we're not putting the pomegranate in here. Yes, that's fine. Is this the... Shoot, I don't know if we're still going to unlock the both. Do these both unlock at the same time? Yay! Okay, that's exactly the one we wanted. Because we have some goodies on us for it. And so let's go and run and do a little bit of business here. Hello, I would like to... Not donate anything there. Uh, not donate anything there. We have you. We have you and you. And we have you. Oh, shoot. I could have saved an urchin. Ah, let's put this in here too while we have it. And I think that's everything that we can do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good progress. Happy with that. Okay, let's go and check Marcelo out now. Because that's really what we've all been waiting for. I love how there's a reason to come up like back here in town because this has always been just like a neglected area oh no oh wait it's okay we have a tool on us gosh okay hello Marcelo book of stars gain experience in all skills wow that's so cool Stardew Valley Almanac which is a farming one way of the wind part one run a little bit faster these are so expensive this is the one that I want the price catalog you can now see the value of your items. I think that's a worthy investment because that will just be so... It'll be nice. A convenience thing. This, These are expensive, but they're so neat. Okay, so I want this. What the heck? Why can you buy more than one? Are you going to do the cool book animation? It does! You learned a new power. Oh, that's so cool. Now we can see... We can see the price. These sell for 400 Wow. We're probably just going to sell those, honestly. I know they'd be good for down the road, but... Thanks, Marcelo. Oh, yay. We can actually see how much everything can sell for now. For the price of $3,000, definitely a worthy investment in my opinion. Alright. Oh, I don't think I meant to come to you. Yeah. You were the wrong building, but I... Uh, why not talk to you, hey? Let's go get this garbage can. Nope, nothing. And I need to pull up my museum thing. Okay, so Topaz goes on the corner. Oh, that's probably the cauliflower. Quartz goes right here. Um, Jade, Jade, Jade goes here. Emerald goes here. Nice, okay. And hello, collect rewards. Yep, there's the cauliflower. Let's check these books out. 
talking about animals, talking about how to farm and how to forge. Okay, I guess we could run back maybe and um, grab some more things because we had some dupes. Actually, they're kind of up in the mine. Ah, maybe today is just going to be a running around day. I think that's okay if it's a bit of a running around day. Let's go check down here for dig spots because it's a new week. New... Yay, wormies. Clay? A book. I want clay. I need one more clay. Please, 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 please. Yay. Um, how much? I need to Google this. Stardew Silo. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting all the wrong keys because I'm not sitting properly. Um, silo is it's 10 clay. 100 stone. Ooh, I don't know if we have the stone. And 5 cotton. It's a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so we can't tuck it up in that corner. That's okay. But I do want to build the silo just so that we can start mowing down some of the grass. To allow for the blue grass to grow. That's the plan. I don't know why I want the blue grass to grow. Just because it's new. Hmm. Ooh, that tree grew too. Let's chop down that tree. So I'm going to put those seeds away. We're going to put you in here. Put you in here. Oh, you didn't even stack. That's fine. Okay. And what was I going to do? I was going to sell the speed grow, which again, some of you are like, no, hold on to it. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, chop down this tree before it creates a bigger issue down the road. Check how much stone we have. 44. Yeah, so we can't build the silo. That's fine. That'll be next episode. Let's clean up here a little bit. Oops. Oops. I think we'll just chop down some more trees. I think it'll be fine to get some more wood because then we can bring a chest up with us to the mines and we can bring back some stuff. Yeah, let's cl finish cleaning up kind of by in front of the greenhouse area. Because it's getting a little bit busy over here. Maybe we'll wait to cut down the stumps once we have an iron axe. There we go. Little stumpies everywhere. Oops, I don't want to cut that down. We're going to cut down these big stumps. You have some new ideas to sleep on. Yay, a foraging level. Level 5 foraging. That means we can get the double. Um, I think we're going to go for that one. The actually picking up the forage items rather than the wood one to begin with. We might switch it out, but that's the plan. Oops. I'm not used to actually seeing the greenhouse entryway because I usually have a mod that removes that. There we go. Bonk and bonk. And there's probably, there's no good way to cut down this tree. I think we're going to lose things regardless, but... Yeah, we lost some. That's fine. You down. That tree wasn't... Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, I'm going to cut down that actual tree because then we can actually get behind what's going on here. Or the stump, sorry. There we go. Nice. Um, I don't have my scythe or anything on me, so all of these little trees, baby trees here, are going to do their thing, which is unfortunate. I can do the stump, that's fine. Clean these up, because this will just be filled in by grass. Mm 
Okay. I wonder if the bluegrass would give you more hay. I don't know. Anyways, let's get to what I've really been wanting to get to, which is up here. So we can see this bridge that was hiding on us, and then we can actually finally get access to a part of our farm that we haven't been able to access. Yay! Okay, now we have access to all of our... Oh, goodbye. We have access to all of our farm, which is really... It feels really good. Oh, goodbye. I'm not going to worry too much about cleaning up here because there's not too much we can do up there quite yet. Um, I think I'm going to switch out my hoe for our scythe and just come back through there. Just to get rid of all of those little seedlings that are popping up. And I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all of this. So I can move this over. Here. Ah. Uh, I don't like that. No, I'll just put it here. It's fine. And then make you the gray again. Put back in the assortment of things. Organize. Take out our axe. Take out our scythe. Yes, but they're in the wrong one. Okay. And now we are going to... do have 235, which is great. Because then we can make our last two chests for this to complete this off. What? What just happened? How did I just... That was so weird. I don't know what just happened there, but that was weird. Okay, there, that looks great. So now we have our chest storage system set up for, and that will serve us really well for maybe the duration of this playthrough. I don't know, but that's, that's a system that's not new to anyone if they've been watching me for a little bit. Um, and it's not new to anyone who just plays Stardew, because that's just how the workbenches work. Um, yeah, let's just continue chopping down over here. I don't know why I ended up going laterally, laterally with chopping down the trees, but we did. Let's pop a few more berries. And then continue mowing. This isn't even mowing. Mowing would be using the scythe. <laughs> Ah, it's always so satisfying doing some farm cleaning, hey? Nice. Thank you. I don't think there's... Actually, it might be better cutting it this way. Let's pop two more berries. It's 11 p.m. I think two berries will be safe. Stand here, please, please, please. Okay, I actually got, like, all of them. Yeah. I'll just be able to see what we're working with here. I miss my wildflower grass mod. The regular vanilla grass is so boring. <laughs> I think I can pop another berry. And maybe one more tree. Yeah, maybe one more tree. Ah, let's do this actually. And you're the lucky one. Well, that's pretty much an episode, hey? Holy cannoli! That's all I gotta say. Um, no, we are the wrong one. Actually, now that we have those, we can move these, and we can move the... Where are you? These, and these. So I use this one kind of as my, like, seeds chest. Um, and we might put some other ones, like, actually, we can probably do that, just so that this one doesn't get as cluttered. And now there's different types of seeds, right? We can move these seeds up here too, which, well, this will change eventually, but while we're still kind of just slowly collecting seeds, we can put them there. And it's going to be, oh, we have these that we can put up there too. Put you in, and actually let's make 
One more chest. Oops. And we're going to put... I kind of want to line them up here. So I might move this over one and back one. Can I do that just by like... How do you... There's a way to do this. I can't remember how to do it. Anyways, um, I want to make one more chest because I want to put in all of our like crafted things. If that makes sense. Into a different chest. There. Yeah. There. And let's go to bed. How long is this episode? How are we doing? Two hours and two and a half hours. Not bad. Okay, so this would be nice, but we're going to go for this one because I feel like this just is more... We get more forging EXP from this one, right? Because you normally get 7 EXP for picking up a forage, but if you get the double forage, you actually get a double EXP on that double forage, so you get 14 EXP. So while we're still trying to level up our forging skill, it'll be good. And then also the level 10 perk from that skill. Whoa, over a grand. The level 10 skill from one of those is really going to be really good for fall time when we get blackberries. So that's the plan. And then we can switch after that, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, that's episode three. Wrapped up in a bag, hey? Eh? <laughs> episode three with our steel pickaxe ready. Um, it's awesome that we got this leprechaun hat, hey? That's so funny. I feel like I almost want to turn this chair around so that I can sit and face y'all. Actually, what if I just move it? I mean, I'm going to be closing down the game anyways. Put it like there. No, it looks fine the way it was. It's fine. It just sucks that I can't face y'all. Anyways, thanks for stopping by on episode 3. As always, I love the comments and the experiences and the, like, you're so silly stuff. Um, you all are such great people. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.